Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do another reading for today. Now, we just did one and it, it had an interruption and so um, it was a pretty significant interruption. I have to, I'm gonna address it a little bit right here before we start. There is no such thing as coincidence. There isn't, and that's why that is the message from that reading I just did. There is no such thing as coincidence. Open your eyes. It's about seeing between the lines. It's about, I mean, that's the high priestess. That was the card right when I was had the high priestess. It was coming up right after the hermit, okay? It's awareness. The, the hermit is awareness. Conscious Jesus awareness. And then the high priestess. That's psychic abilities. When you are a psychic or gifted, you understand that there is no such thing as coincidence. You believe, you trust. You use silence as your, as your um, guide, okay? Through silence and awareness, you will notice the signs. But you have to be awake. The hermit is awakened by that light. Some of you have commented that it was just Siri. Those of you that have commented are not awake. That have commented that you don't believe that you think it was just Siri, you're not awake. You're not the high priestess. You're not that hermit who is highly awakened yet. You haven't gotten to that spot. The high priestess knows. She knows. She believes. She trusts. And that's why they come to me, because I believe and I trust. And I know that there is no such thing as coincidence. Everything is a sign if you can see beyond the superficial See what lies beneath the superficial meaning of whatever it is. That came through to wake people up. Pay attention. Remember I said in that reading that you're going to receive a message. Many of you will miss that message. Because you're not awake enough to know. For those of you that are awake, you are going to receive a message and you're going to see it clearly because you have a gift. You know that you have a gift. You believe that you have a gift and you're wide awake. Some of you just aren't there yet. That was a message for everybody to wake up. There are signs that you are not seeing. I don't even know how to go back to Siri. I can't even get back there. I don't even know. I've never ever turned it on once. I don't even know how to go back or, or anything. This phone is in my room every single day when I do the readings. It's right beside me. It is. It's right there. It's right there where you saw it. It has never happened before. And I've had a couple, two or three comments from people that are not awake that say that it's Siri push that. Siri push that notification and I've never ever used it before. Are you kidding me? All of a sudden it just decided out of the blue in the middle of a reading to do that? You don't believe. If you don't believe then you, I mean, you got a long ways to go. A long ways. The high priestess on her spiritual journey, she knows she has reached that point of inner knowing. But she did have her back turned, so some of you are, are are not realizing. I mean, her back was turned, So, you, and, I, and I did say at some point in the reading that some of you may not believe. If you don't believe, then you're going to continue to struggle. If you don't believe in the signs, if you don't believe in your intuition... You're going to continue to struggle. Wake up. And now we're ready to start the next reading. Arch 
Archangel Michael cards <laughs> I've chosen for this one. And I have the chills throughout my whole body. That was the message that needed to come through. You know what path you need to take. Your intuition. I'm getting them so that got throughout my whole. They're getting stronger. Okay, the intuition. I mean, the, I wish you could feel the I, all, through my head, arms, my whole body. Um, chills. Um, pay attention. There's no such thing as coincidence. Somebody is receiving a message and they're missing it. They're missing it. They're missing it. Because they're not awake. They're too closed off. What do we have? What else? What else? What else do we have? Attachment. Attachment to what you know, right? This is superficial. You gotta take that mask off to see clearly. You gotta take the mask off to see clearly. These are oracle cards, they're not gonna be reversed. This is a message. Door to spirit. Yes, sir. Absolutely. The door is opening. The veil is being lifted. Can you see it? Are you ready? Or are you scared? Are you in denial? Spirit is talking to you. Can you hear him? Or are you closed off? Are you just brushing things aside? Attached to what you once knew? Door to romance, oh boy. I'm not sure about this. Door to value, underneath the Queen of Pentacles. That's funny. Oh God, hostilities. The thinking man. All right, what do we have for day? today? Today, it looks as though we have a man that is thinking about opening that door, right? He's thinking about opening that door. He's being divinely guided to open that door, isn't he? He is, he's, but he's trying to ignore the signs because he's not wide awake yet. But he may be dealing with a woman who's waking him up. I think that's probably the case. But anyway... Um, we have this spirit that is talking to this man saying, you know, you know, you want it, you know, you want it, but he's looking away from it. You know, he is, he's looking away from it. He's, he's afraid of it. Um, he is afraid of it. He, and it's, he's afraid of it. If you see what's right before this, he's afraid of it because he's afraid to, he's afraid to let his guard down. He's protecting himself. He's been hurt in the past. This man has his guard up, right? He's hostile. He's hostile. He's afraid to give away, you know, everything that he has acquired. He has. He has. You know, he's he's um, stuck. He's really, really stuck. He sees this woman's value. He does. I know that he does. He sees this woman's value. But in order for him to accept what she has to offer, he's going to have to get unstuck and release the past hostilities about being taken advantage of. We have a man here that's been taken advantage of, probably used, used for whatever reason, you know. There's so many people that do that. They do. They just go into a relationship using to, you know, get value out of a person and nothing else, okay? So we have a man here that's hostile. He's guarded. He's protected. He's protecting himself, but spirit is guiding him to make an offer, and he's absolutely positively thinking about it. So this man is thinking about, you know... Um, giving something away, you know, giving away something. He has something in his hand, right? He does, you know. And now the crystals are protection, right? So he, he's trying to protect himself. We have a man here that is seriously trying to protect himself. Um, no doubt, no doubt. And he's really stuck. He's really stuck. There's an opportunity for happiness here. 
There is. And the door is wide open for happiness and love. The door is open and it's a blessing. It's a wish. It's 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 like a it's a wish that this man has made. I mean, and the woman perhaps, but either way, there's an opportunity for happiness. There is. This this person is still healing. This man is healing over something. I'm not sure what, but but he's definitely still holding on to some sort of hostility. He is. He is. He's really stuck. He's afraid. He is really, really, really afraid to listen to his intuition. He's, he's afraid. He's afraid. I think that he may feel like um, he's afraid to get attached. He's afraid to get attached to this woman. He really, really is. I think that, I mean, we have this door opening, this door opening, and this door is wide open. So we have a door opening that is an answer to a, to a prayer. I think this is, this is, the threes are the answer to your prayers. Your prayers have been heard. Your prayers, somebody's prayers have been heard in regard, I think it's a man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you at this point that I do think it's a man. We have a man here that has an opportunity to accept a golden opportunity from a woman who is very stable, secure, um, educated, um, valuable. She's a very valuable asset, okay? And he feels like this door is opening, you know, and he probably has a lot to offer, but he's a, he may feel like he's afraid of attachment. He is afraid of attachment. He's conflicted. He is conflicted. He's also, you know, he's hearing, he is hearing messages. He is feeling, hearing messages, but now he has to make a choice. He has to make a choice as to whether he wants this reward that he has prayed for because it's like, this is a, this is a reward. This is a reward. This is a harvest time. It's like he has an opportunity to put his sword down and, you know, stop protecting himself and get unstuck and go through this new door, this door to romance and be valued and be part of uh, something that could make him very happy. But he's really, really, really protective. So it looks as though, oh, there's, I want to shuffle these a little bit. I haven't used them in a while. I need to shuffle these a little bit. I'm talking to them. Spirit is divinely telling this person that, you know, it's time. I mean, cornucopia, cornucopia is it's harvest time. It's harvest time. You know, and it's something that this person has manifested. This person has manifested this partnership. And I think it's, I do think it's a man. It could be a woman because we have them both. But it feels like spirit. Because this is, and look at this is the door, this opening is bringing two people together. But this man, this man is scared. This man is scared to give. He's scared to give. But he knows that the time is now. He has to make a decision. He has to make a choice. And he's really conflicted. Because it's going to change his life. Fives are major life changes. Five, five, five. It's going to change his life. And he's in the process of reevaluating the whole situation right now. He knows this is the answer to those prayers. He knows that this is, you know, bountiful, whatever it is. This is valuable. This is valuable. And if you, you know, this is something that could make him very happy. But he's so conflicted. Fives are conflicts. Choices and changes. Five, five, five. So this man knows that he has to take action right now. Eights are the time is now. He knows that he has to because this is so uh, bountiful. Everybody can see what, what's available here. Everybody can. It's, it's very fertile. It's very, well, it's not fertile. It's grown. It's, it's, it's reached its ripeness. It's ready. It's ready. So the time is absolutely now to, you know, stop thinking about it and follow your intuition or, you know, this person is very valuable, very, very valuable. And, and this person's been saying prayers as well. Prayers have been heard. And it looks like spirit is trying to bring these two people together, but the, the masculine is very scared, very scared. We're going to get one of these and then I'll go back. I'll get some more cards. Um...
Mmm. Can you see it? From Archangel Michael, ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. My prayer. Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with... Describe the situation. Please help me be filled with faith and peace at all times. Dear Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me. Please help me with detaching from my fear. Please help me to pay attention to the signs. Please lead me to personal healing and happiness. Please help me to walk through that door. Please help me to release the hostilities that are holding me back from following my heart. Please help me to detach from fear of romance. So it looks to me as though we have a man here that is mentally trapped in his thoughts as to whether he wants to go down this path or not. Whether he wants to, you know, accept this opportunity from this woman who has a lot of value and she knows she has value. She values herself. And now is the time to pick, to choose. And he knows that. So we have a man that is thinking about changing his life for this woman. And that's what we have. Good luck.